Hey folks, welcome back to another video. What if your Google Docs could reason like a teammate? Fact check your work while you write. In this three part series, you'll learn how to build agentic workflows inside of your Google Workspace tools. We'll be turning regular Google Workspace tools like Docs, Sheets and Slides into intelligent collaborators. In this part one, we'll be building our AI auditor agent that's going to be basically the foundation for the automation. We're going to be starting off by setting up the AI auditor agent building built using Google's agent development kit and, and maybe a Gemini model, Gemini 2.5 Pro, I guess. And we're going to be testing it locally using ADK web. And in the end, we'll validate it with a simple output. By the end of this series, you'll learn how to build an AI agent using ADK, deploy it to the Vertex AI engine for deployment, of course, for making it into production. And in the third part, you learn how to integrate agentic workflows inside of Google Workspace tools like Docs, Sheets and Slide. So let's get started with today's video where we'll build the AI Auditor agent. So let's get started. So we're going to start off by understanding the flow of this three part series where we'll start off by building the AI agent in ADK, which is going to be this particular video, after which we'll transition into deploying the agent to Vertex AI agent engine. And in the end, we're going to be integrating it into Google Docs using Google Apps Script. So this is going to be our flow for the three part series. If you want to check out the other blogs and videos, I'll be leaving those links in the description. You can check that out. But now what we're going to be doing is basically going to our Visual Studio code. And I already have these code files ready. If you want to work with them, you can check out the GitHub code link in the description, but I'm going to be walking you through it. So the first thing you would want to do is set up your environment for ADK. So make a separate directory. You can use the MKDIR followed by the name of your directory transition into it, create a virtual environment and then activate it with the source name of your environment slash bin slash activate. After which you need to create a requirements.txt file that contains the following requirements that I have here. And uh, you can find all the code in the GitHub repo. You can just f copy that and get started with that. And that's going to be the first step of our process where we'll set up the requirements.txt file. You can install the requirements using the following command. And once you're set up with all of this, let's move to the agent.py file. I've started off with a couple of imports here where I would want to import from google.adk.agents import agent. And we're going to be using the Google search tool for our agent to actually verify and fact check it. So we're going to start off by defining the root agent. We're going to give it a name that's going to be AI auditor followed by specifying the model that we're going to be using. That's going to be the Gemini 2.0 flash model, followed by a simple description that says it fact checks statements from a document and provides citations. And this is a detailed instruction set that I've prepared for the agent that basically understands what it's supposed to do. So let's break it down part by part. The first one is it makes it very clear that you are an AI auditor. So it gives it a proper context for what it's supposed to do, factual verification and evidence based reasoning. Now, the first step would be to extract the claims, followed by verifying the claims, classify the findings, record the evidence and in the end, summarize all the results that you have. And we want a particular output format that we can use later when we are integrating this with Google Docs using Google Apps Script. So this is going to be the claims it's and it will provide you a verdict, whether it's true, false, misleading or unverifiable. After which it gives a confidence score, whether how confident it is about the particular answer. It gives a reasoning behind um, why it's made or why it's claimed and what why it's made this particular verdict. And in the end, we have the summaries. In case you have more than one claim, it's always nice to have total claims, verdict breakdown, and it gives me an overall summary very nicely. In the end, we have additional instructions that says always prefer authoritative domains, X, Y, Z. And that means use specific websites, use actual factual websites, avoid low quality or user generated content, be concise, accurate and transparent about uncertainty. And if you see here, all we are doing is using the Google search tool. We're creating tools and inside of which we put Google underscore search that we have imported here. Our agent is ready and good to go. We just, so if you can just go to the GitHub repo, copy paste the agent code and you're ready and good to go. So this is the agent's foundation. This is going to be the entire foundation for our Google docs fact checking workflow. 
So the next thing that we're going to be doing is testing this locally. And uh, for that, as you can see above, we're going to be using the ADK web command that opens up the UI interface for me to test and interact with my AI agent. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to open that up here and I'm going to select my doc fact checker agent. And I'm going to start off by saying, hey, what can you do for me? just to see whether it's understood its instruction set, its description, and it provides me saying, this is what I can do for you, etc. So I'm gonna say, hey, what can you do for me? And I'm gonna click on enter, and in a couple of seconds, it should give me back a response. And you can see it gives me back a response that says, I can analyze the document, identify factual claims, verify them using web searches, and provide a structured response. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give it a fact, and I'm going to see if, if it can understand that this is a fact that I want to get checked or this is a statement or, or something that I want to get checked. So I'm going to click on enter that says the moon is made of cheese. Or maybe the sky is blue or something like that. And you can use that or you can say or you can even use the earth is flat just so that we get back a response that says it's incorrect. As you can see, you can see it starts off by specifying the claim. The verdict is false. The confidence is 100. And it provides me a detailed reasoning about why it's given that and it gives me verified actual sources that it's using and in the end it gives me back a summary that says the single claim that the moon is made of cheese is false based on scientific evidence. And here you can see our agent is ready and good to go. So you've defined a basic reasoning agent and tested it locally and stuff. In case you see any errors, you might want to go back to your ENV file and select the form of backend. I'll be leaving other ADK resources in the description that you can check that out. That brings us to the end of video one where we have built the core agentic workflow that we would like to use and integrate into our Google workspace. Um, in the next video, we're going to be deploying this to the Vertex AI agent engine and uh, you can find out the code link in the description and the Google code lab link is also in the description. You can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.